the KPO NM532. Came in yesterday from Scott's Radios and I'm going to take it out of the box and compare with the uh, standard stock microphone on this radio, President McKinley. Scott's radio is in Michigan, US, and uh, he is importing this uh, microphone, the KPO, directly from KPO in the Netherlands. Um, so let's open the box and take a look. Box opening is really not my thing, so I'm going to cut this video and continue after the box is open. Okay. Very nice pack. Uh, bubble wrap. Another bubble wrap. Thanks, Mike. Uh, more bubble wrap. That's great, man. This is awesome packing. Scott's Radios. And here it is. And here it is, the uh, KPO NM532. I'm going to take it out of the box. So the 532 is a essentially a basic power microphone. Um, and here are the uh, specifics on it. It's an electric condenser microphone. It has an LED to indicate the transmitting. And here are the details. This is in the back of the box. Right, let's open the box. So this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pin. Let me uh, try to uh, focus it on here. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There it is. And it should plug directly into the uh, President, President McKinley CB radio. Here's the microphone. It feels pretty good in my hand, at least. Push to talk is pretty good. Not too hard, not too soft. Here's the uh, LED indicator for transmission. And this is the uh, level control for the microphone gain. We're going to uh, put on the battery. And the battery is placed here uh, in the back. We open it like so. There's a video from Scott's radio about this uh, microphone. And he also shows the same thing. Okay. was already open I was twisting and twisting it was already open is the uh, connector for the 9 volt battery I am placing the battery in its place it fits perfectly and I will close the uh, back of the microphone And uh, it's real simple. I like this one screw to close the microphone. Um, a lot of other microphones have one, two, three screws sometimes, and uh, it requires a screwdriver. This way, if you're on the road and you're running out of battery, 
you can easily replace the battery without the need of having a screwdriver uh, maybe you won't carry one in your car and uh, or your truck so you might uh, find this little one screw here very useful right so let's go ahead and run some tests here's our president McKinley with the uh, standard microphone it's really nothing to it it's a basic microphone the only difference is it does have the uh, up and down buttons here which the uh, KPO does not have but I don't miss it because I don't change frequencies frequently or channels frequently while I'm driving so um, that's one thing that you have to think about if you want to use the KPO as it does not have up and down buttons uh, it's a little trade-off you have amplified modulation uh, but no uh, function to go up and down the channels you would have to do it on the radio itself okay so let's go ahead and uh, run this test in FM why FM because the President McKinley at least uh, mine here doesn't have a very strong audio on FM uh, I know this radio is set to just 1.5 kilohertz deviation on FM which really brings down the modulation uh, the uh, US allowed or legal limit is 2.5 kilohertz on FM in this band so um, I might eventually open up a little more and as far as FM deviation on this radio but comparing FM with AM on this radio or, or sideband uh, FM has a real lower modulation on this radio so I'm going to switch to the computer and uh, transmit with the uh, standard microphone and uh, then I will switch back here to the radio change the microphone to the KPO and then switch over to the computer again to run, some, uh, to run another test using the KPO so you may compare the audio uh, the KPO will have additional tests because of the uh, amplification or the uh, uh, mic gain uh, level so I will start with a quarter of the way halfway and then all the way up so we can see the differences in there Let's switch to the computer now. President McKinley with the uh, standard microphone uh, right now transmitting with the standard microphone and President McKinley frequency 27205 megahertz in uh, uh, FM. I choose FM for this test because FM is not really the best mode in this particular radio because audio is typically pretty low uh, and it's set this way from factory with uh, 1.5 deviation in FM. I, I kind of think that's low and this radio is one of my future projects where I, I want to improve modulation on FM. However, it's a good test, it's a good baseline for uh, comparing uh, power microphone with the standard microphone. This is a standard electric microphone uh, from uh, President. And again, I'm transmitting with the uh, President McKinley European version on FM channel 20 27205. End of test. And uh, we are back with the radio now. I've already switched from my standard microphone to the KPO. The initial test will be at 25, about 25% of the mic gain. Then we're going to switch to 50%, right about here. Then we're going to go up to 75%. And finally to 100% uh, I mentioned that uh, I will be speaking about four fingers away from the microphone 
So here are four fingers. That's the, the distance. So my mouth would be right about here in, in relation to the microphone. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and switch back to the computer and start our test at 75% gain on the KPO. One thing that you need to realize, the mic gain on the radio will be at 100%. So let me zoom in there real quick and make sure it's focused. When I transmit, you see the mic gain on the radio, which is this little line here above, is at 100%, okay? So I'm not changing this from the original test with the original microphone, which was also done with 100% uh, mic gain uh, from the radio uh, circuit. So um, just that you know, I'm not changing that. So the differences will be exactly from this microphone and the original microphone. Okay, here are both of them. Matter of fact, let me uh, do a little side-by-side -side comparison real quick. So here are both microphones. And size-wise, the uh, evidently the uh, power microphone is bigger. Okay. And but it's not much heavier than the uh, original microphone. Okay. Let's go to the computer test and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I am uh, four fingers away from my mouth using the microphone, KPO, NM532. The mic gain is set at about 25%. One, two, three, three, two, one. I am speaking at a normal voice level. Keep in mind that uh, if you are mobile, um, you might speak a little louder just naturally because of uh, all the noise around you. I am now going to increase the mic gain to 50%, so exactly halfway. Okay, I am now at 50%. One, two, three, three, two, one. I am now at 50%. This is the KPO NM532. KPO NM532. This is an amplified microphone, basic amplified power microphone from KPO. This is a company in the Netherlands. I'm now going to raise the mic gain to 75%. We're now at 75%, still the same distance of four fingers from the microphone. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three. Three, two, one. I am now going to increase the mic gain to 100%. So all the way to the right. 100%. Now. I am now at 100% of the microphone gain. One, two, three. Three, two, one. KPO NM532. KPO NM 532. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. So this concludes our test of the uh, basic power microphone from KPO. Thank you. So this concludes our comparison. Um, I think 
the uh, KPO um, comes out better in uh, this radio. As far as the uh, amplification, the uh, audio seems to be also a little more clear as opposed to a little muffled with the uh, original microphone. Opinions will vary and it will vary a lot. Maybe you thought that sounds better with the original microphone, who knows. I'm one of the guys that tend to believe in the factory microphone because that's how it was designed for the radio, right? Uh, and it is true, so uh, for me, at least in AM and sideband, the factory microphone on this radio does a great job. Uh, kudos to President. Uh, this is a great radio. However, uh, in FM, I did not see a very good uh, audio amplification and it does not sound loud enough. And when I say loud, I don't like extremely loud audio. However, uh, it sounds really tiny in FM. So I will be using the KPO, uh, which is my conclusion for this radio, especially in FM. So this concludes our test. Um, write your opinions on the comments. What do you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Would you prefer to have a different microphone than the KPO? I've maybe uh, do a video in the future with the Cobra Dynamic Dyna, uh, Dynamic Plus, I think Dynamic Plus, uh, comparing with the KPO. The Cobra Dynamic Plus is a uh, great microphone as well, and it's also a power microphone. So I'll, I may do a video on that. For now, this is the comparison with the KPO uh, microphone model NM532 with the uh, stock microphone. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time. President McKinley, okay. I am uh, four with fingers the, uh, away from standard my mouth. microphone uh, right now. Microphone. I'm meeting with the standard KPO microphone. Of President McKinley, NM frequency two seven two zero five. The mic gain is set at about twenty five percent. FM. One, I two, choose three, FM for three, this test two, because one. FM is I am not speaking really the best uh, normal voice mode level in this particular radio because that, audio uh, is if you are typically mobile, pretty low um, uh, and it's set this way. You might factory, speak a little louder just, uh, one point naturally five because of uh, FM. I, all the noise I kind of around think you. that's low and this radio is one of my I am now going to increase where I, I want to improve the mic gain modulation to 50 percent. So exactly. However, it's a good test. It's a good baseline for uh, comparing uh, power microphone with okay. a standard microphone. I am now this is at a standard 50 percent microphone. One, uh, two, from, three, uh, three, two, one. And I again, am now at 50 percent. Uh, meeting with the. Uh, this is the KPO. And M version 532 on KPO FM, channel and 20, M 532 and of test. This is an amplified microphone, basic amplified President power microphone Kelly. from KPO the, uh, standard microphone. This is a company right in the Netherlands with the standard microphone and President McKinley. I'm now going to raise the mic to 75 percent megahertz in uh, uh, FM. I choose FM for this test because FM uh, is the same not really the best four fingers mode the in this particular radio because one, audio two, three, is typically three, two, pretty one. low. One, two, three, uh, three, two, one. This way from factory with uh, one point five. I am now going to increase the mic gain yeah, to one hundred percent. I think that's so low. All and the way this radio is one of my right. future projects where I, I want to now. improve. Modulation. I am now at 
of the microphone gain. However, a good test, is a good baseline one, for two, uh, three, comparing three, uh, two, two, microphone one. with the standard KPO microphone. This is a standard NM electric five, microphone. Five, three, two. KPO, uh, NM, from, uh, five, three, two. And again, uh, one, me two, three. The, uh, Three, two, one. President McKinley. So this concludes our test of the uh, basic power microphone from KPO. Thank you.